Light Rays. Choose a clip with some bright area. Jump into colors and choose effect light rays. Set it to screen, adjust the position and the length of the rays. This effect works best in high contrasted scenes. Promised filter. Select a clip with some highlights, then go to color page and add a glow effect. Then set it to screen. Switch to glow only and move the threshold slider. You should see only the highlights and it should not be blown out, but play with it to match your style. Then adjust the spread. Artistic Vignette If you want to bring more attention to center of your frame and make the subject stand out, then go to color page and after your color gray create three nodes. On first one we want to use tilt shift blur and in a depth of field play with the focus ranges. On the second node do this again but change the angle to 90 and adjust the effect. This creates a blurry looking vignette emphasizing the subject in the middle. To add a bit more abstraction, on the last note use prism blur. Reduce the blur and play with the aberration. Then use a circular mask on this note to have it only on edges. Strobe effect. Go to effects and choose flicker edition. Adjust the settings to your liking and there we go! Party! Oh yeah! Magic mask. Switch to color page, choose magic mask, choose if you want to mask out object or person. Draw line in the object or person which you want to mask out. You can even select parts to exclude from your mask. Then let it track the mask. And voila! Magic. Magic mask. Then adjust the settings to fit your shot and you can toggle the mask overlay on and off to see where the mask is. You can use this mask to do color grading or mask out the object. D flicker. Choose effect called D flicker. Set the type to lights or time lapse and see the magic happens. But it's quite heavy on performance. Edge detect. This effect can be applied in many different ways. Duplicate the clip, put on the edge detect, go to settings and adjust it as you like it. You can have it colored or monochromatic. Go to settings and switch blending mode to screen. Now it is up to you. Scale it up or down, animate it, move it around, let it flicker, play with different blending modes. Analog damage and overlays. In DaVinci there are built-in overlays. Go to effects and resolve FX textures. There you have analog damage, film damage and film grain. Choose from many templates and even combine those effects if you would like to. Patch replacer. To remove some spots or dust from your lens in post, go to color, Choose patch replacer, adjust the area to fit your spot and specify the second area from where it takes the information to cover it. Voice isolation. Choose audio with any type of noise over your voice. Go to sound settings and turn on voice isolation. And now it will do its AI thing. And voila, no noise. This was my 10 editing hacks in DaVinci Resolve. Here you have some more tips and thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Finally, it is nice weather, so I'm going to work out.